In praying, do not babble like the pagans, our Lord tells us. And it might seem like our Lord is telling us not to be repetitive in our prayer, but at the same time, His Holy Church tells us to be repetitive and to pray the Holy Rosary often. In fact, if we just look at a few popes who encourage us to pray the Rosary, we see that St. Paul VI says, if evils increase, the devotion of the people of God should also increase. So the worse it is in the world around us, the more we should actually pray. And then he says, pray ardently to our most merciful Mother Mary by saying the rosary. This prayer is well suited to the devotion of the people of God, most pleasing to the Mother of God, and most effective in gaining heaven's blessings. Almost seems like a contradiction. Our Lord says, don't babble. His church says, pray, and pray the rosary, which is repetitive. And this prayer is most effective in gaining heaven's blessings. Pius XI says the same thing, and in fact, all the recent popes, but I just quote these two. He says, we exhort Christians, citing our own example, not to let even one day pass without saying the rosary, no matter how burdened they may be with many cares and labors. We desire very earnestly that the most holy rosary should be recited both in churches and in homes. And God gives grace in response to this prayer. God loves to give graces through the prayer of the Holy Rosary. And I would say he loves to give grace precisely because the prayer is insistent and repetitive. And Pius XII, just to quote a third pope, gives us an insight into how this is and why it works. He says that the recitation of identical formulas repeated so many times has the admirable quality of infusing confidence in him who prays and brings to bear a gentle compulsion on the motherly heart of Mary. The repetition of the Holy Rosary increases our desire and our confidence. It shows our Lord and Our Lady that we desire to receive the graces that they have prepared for us. It shows them that we trust that we will receive those graces that they have prepared for us and that desire, that confidence, that trust moves the heart of God, moves the heart of Our Lady. Our Lord loves to respond to such firm and confident desires on the part of his children. That's why the rosary is so effective. The rosary is not babble, the rosary is power, precisely in its insistent repetition. Of course, it's possible to babble the rosary, it's possible to babble any prayer. An essential part of the definition of babbling, if we look at the original Greek, is that babbling is saying empty words, words that are without attention, without intention, words that are just merely a product of the lips, but not of the heart. That's babble. It's possible to babble the rosary. It's possible to babble any prayer in reality. But the word is not, the rosary is not meant to be babble. And there's an expression that if the mind wanders on purpose, then the lips move in vain. It's a, it's a Latin expression translated into English, a principle of spiritual theology. If your mind is wandering on purpose, your lips are moving in vain. That's babble. Those are idle, empty words, without attention, without intention. But that's not the way the rosary is meant to be prayed. It's meant to be prayed with attention, reverence, and devotion. Attention either on the mystery itself, on the words that you're saying, the Our Fathers, the Hail Marys, etc., or attention on the intention for which you are praying. Our heart must be engaged. Our heart must be in contact with God to whom we are speaking through Our Lady. If we're doing that, praying with attention, reverence, and devotion, then our rosary certainly isn't babble, it is power. Concluding with those exhortations of the popes again, if evils increase, the devotion of the people of God should also increase. And if the evil around us is persistent, repetitive, insistent, so should be our prayer against that evil. Repetitive, insistent, persistent. Do not let even one day pass without saying the rosary, no matter how burdened you may be with the many cares and labors of life. Praise be Jesus and Mary. Amen.